here we are. The sun is above the horizon again when we got here. It's good. That means daylight hours are getting longer. Longer the better. Why does my truck look clean? Cleaner than it was yesterday. Did somebody wash the trucks? Nope, just my imagination. She's still dirty. She's still dirty. What's that? You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Don't worry about it. I'm talking about you. Okay, let's uh, check the oil. Let's get her started up. And let's get started on the day. I haven't brought my pressure washer to work yet. Yesterday was a really long day, so uh, today might be another really long day. It's the week after a short week and after a long weekend, so usually I would assume that it would be busier because we're either catching up or the week before. It's usually a week crammed into four days. It's always usually pretty busy around a long weekend, I would assume. So we'll see. Maybe later this week I'll uh, bring it along with me and then we can wash her at the end of the day. We'll figure it out yet. It's too early to think about that. Let's get her started up. Let's get ready for work. A little bit of an abnormal traffic jam here on the north perimeter on the north side of Winnipeg. Just coming up to the interchange with Route 90 and Highway 7. And it's been backed up all the way to McPhillips, which is a few miles. Which is odd. Now I'm seeing vehicles in front of the truck in front of me move into the left lane, so I'm assuming my lane is probably going to end or something. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, they're blocking this lane that I'm in. That's what's going on here. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Must have been an accident. Right lane is closed. Ford F-150 that let me in. Let's see what's going on here. It's very strange for this much traffic to be on the north perimeter of Winnipeg. Both roll tights. I hope 
they got our name on them because I didn't get a number. I see one here that looks like ours. Shiny new front. I'm guessing uh, it just had a bunch of repairs done, I guess. Yeah, that's ours. Shiny, look at that, brand new door. Wow. So I'm not uh, in the loop of why they're here. I'm guessing they're here for repairs because we're at a repair place. So I'm just, uh, I'm going out on a limb here. I'm, I'm thinking they're probably here for repairs. So we're gonna come and get this one later. The step deck I see over there. This one apparently uh, didn't need as many repairs or something. It's kind of hard to see it with the glare of the sun right there, but let's hook up and uh, take it from there. So I just came to check out this flatbed that they said had a bunch of stuff done to it. This looks all brand new. They must have redone everything on here. Oh, and look at that. There you go. That's what they were doing here. I see. I see. Looks nice. Looks nice. Oh, and they got bungees here instead of those, uh, Oh, this one, that's interesting. Okay, okay. New rollers. So this is practically a new trailer. Okay, so it's just been refurbished. That's what they're doing with it here. They don't tell me these things. They just say, go pick up this trailer over there. Bring it here. I don't ask questions. I don't ask questions. Very well done. Cool. Now I know what they were doing. So the step deck, I don't think they had a chance to fully refurbish it yet, but we need it. And I think that's why I'm pulling that one back already. I'm pretty sure that one's not gonna have everything done that the other one did. Let's take a look here. The siding in the front has definitely not been refurbished. But we've been running so low on the roll tights that we desperately need to use them. We got freight to haul, we're busy. See the back? No, the back hasn't been done yet. Okay. Okay, so that makes sense. That makes sense. Why is this bottom not latched on here? Empty in it. Okay. Yeah. Well. At least this trailer's lights are wired properly, right? Signals on the outsides, not on the insides like yesterday. I just checked to make sure that the the bags were set to inflate on this trailer. This thing's been sitting here for like five minutes already and the airbags still haven't been, oh, there they go. Of course, as I'm talking about it, right? Now it's lifting, do you see that? That took more than five minutes. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was here for 10 minutes. Waiting for these bags to inflate. I wonder if the air compressor on my truck isn't really up to par. I was about to go and put it up to a higher idle. But it looks like it's working properly now. That axle is supposed to lift off the ground. And before I go anywhere, I wanna make sure the trailer's working properly. Okay, so now that those bags are inflating, I'm gonna go inside the trailer. When I uh, took a peek underneath there in the back, I noticed that it was a little bit messy in there and that's not acceptable for me to pull it down the highway like that. I'm gonna open this up here. Oh my. Okay, well, there's all this 
unorganized mess here. And what's that stuff doing down there? Blankets here. Straps over here. Corners, garbage. Who brought the trailer here like this, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Well, this is disappointing. Uh, these straps can bounce around and uh, boop, fall out. Over here, boop, could fall out. They shouldn't be lying around here. They should all be nicely tucked up at the front there, but uh, looks like that's pretty full up there too. So I'm gonna quickly clean this up. Uh, gotta get this trailer back. All right, got that all cleaned up and organized in there. Let's make sure the bags are totally filled up here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is supposed to be off the ground. Doesn't matter if it's down. But maybe that valve isn't working. Maybe that's why they had the trailer here to fix that valve. It's not a big deal. So I have a tri-axle. I'll keep my eye on that though. It might just be the angle that the trailer's at now in the parking lot. We shall see. I was told she's ready to go. There we go. Just had to uh, turn the valve back and forth. Then she lifted up. It saves fuel and it saves a lot of wear and tear on the equipment. If you don't need it, you're supposed to have them up. Also, when you're running on toll roads, especially in the US, toll roads are usually charged to us truckers by how many axles you have on the pavement. If you lift up one axle, that's one less you have to pay for. Early day today. That's all I had to do was move those two trailers. So two o'clock rolled around and you can go home if you want. Alrighty. Had a long day yesterday, so I'll have a short day today. I guess that balances out. I don't mind working overtime every day though. I don't mind the hours. Uh, so if they need me, I'll gladly stay. But today is just a slow day. So I guess we'll go spend this slow day at home instead of twiddling my thumbs doing nothing around here. Open, let me out. Wanna go home? Taking the back way. I always feel like I'm sneaking out when I take this exit. not used to it yet and my button my gate opener or gate door opener whatever the little button I have doesn't work on this gate so I rarely use it but my truck is clean today and I don't want to go all the way around on the gravel and get it all dusty and here we are I actually got home at a decent time I think I was home at uh, four o'clock uh, I was done work there at two o'clock but I hung around there for about another hour uh, talking to everybody, talking to some people in the yard. I got a new shirt. Check it out. Let me turn the light on in here. Oh, so you can see this. There's my sound effects again. They're only going to get louder as I get older. Don't worry. Got this new shirt today. See it? Ha! Got that hanging around. And then my dad showed up at the yard. Uh, he's leaving on a trip today. And uh, he showed up there just as I was leaving. So I chatted with him for a few minutes there yet, and then we came home. We went out to our land today just to check on things, make sure everything's okay. Uh, it's very dry around here right now, and there's been fires in the area that were making us a little nervous, but uh, we just went there to make sure everything was safe and okay. I uh, don't want, uh, you know, don't want to be the cause of anything, which I don't know how we would be. We're never 
we're always safe is what I should say. We're always safe. We're always uh, very conscious. Is that the word? Conscious of what we're doing. And there's a burn ban in effect right now. And sometimes it worries me a little bit when some people out in the bush burn stuff anyways. Or the worst is when they're going down gravel roads in the back, uh, like in the back roads, and they throw their cigarette butt out the window. And it's very dry right now and that causes huge forest fires and can burn people's homes down. I don't mind if people smoke. It doesn't offend me at all. I don't care. Like some of my best friends smoke. I don't smoke myself, but they smoke and they're respectful about it. Most people are respectful about it and they throw their butts in a butt cup or something. But there's always those people out there who just flick them out the window in the dry season. Bugs me. Chevy. What do you have to say to the good people? What do you have to say? Say it loud, say it proud. Well, he's wagging the tail, so that's something. Who's out here? Who's out here? <gasps> There's a weasel. There's a weasel right here. And there's a commander. And there's a wiener. Oh. Oh. Do you see that? I think I may have spotted a wife in her natural habitat. Oh. Oh. There she is. She emerges. Be very quiet. We don't want to alarm her. See as she walks with her shovel and bag full of boop. <laughs> Very glamorous. Elegant, job. glamorous. Yes, indeed. Beautiful. Oh, so so she's coming this way. Quick, run. She spotted us. Britt pointed this out the other day. Chevy, can you sit? Chevy. Too many smells. Chevy. Chevy, can you sit? Sit. Sit. Show me your angel wings. Show them what an angel you are. See, he's got little, They're little, white. little budding wings. He's got white wings <laughs> underneath on both sides. Exactly equal. Are you an angel? <gasps> are you an angel? I knew There's it. tail. I knew you were an angel. Well, they figured it out. I've been trying to tell you for years. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Diesel, what does that make you? Yeah, These are just disguised. I'm just a weasel. Very important weasel. I'm Batman too. <laughs> you ever wonder what it looks like when I'm editing from the outside? From the outside looking in? <laughs> Oops, there's glass there, watch out. I need to wash these windows. I wash the windows in the front on the weekend. These I don't see as often because the sun never really hits these. Uh, the front I noticed right away is because the the sun in the morning and in the morning is when I have the most ambition to get stuff done. I'm going to have to clean these on the weekend. Always something to do around here. Always. Such a small house already. A lot of poop too. A lot of poop. That's our poop scooper. Chevy pooper Vee. scooper. Because somebody broke the other pooper scooper. It was Chevy. Getting a little violent picking it up. Definitely Chevy. That's why I say. Oh no. For shame, sir. Chevy, did you find a brownie? He found a snack. Dude. Gross. Still an angel. Still an angel. He doesn't have too many bad habits. <laughs> Compared to most dogs, I know he's an angel. <laughs> you guys gonna stay out for a bit or are you gonna come in? You gonna come in? I'm going in. Come on, Frank. Come on in. Frank, hey, the door's open, man. Oh, lost another one. Whatever, I'm going in. You guys can all hang out there without me then. Oh, yeah, now that mom's coming in. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Everyone wants to come in when she comes in. Don't hate me because I'm loved. Bunch of mama's boys. That's true. Maybe we'll have daddy's girls in the future. I don't know if you saw it uh, through the window there, but I hung up that picture, that hockey picture of me right there. Now it is symmetrical with the other pictures. However, you may have noticed it's not symmetrical with my monitor. That's a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move that. And I can't move this either. This is on a swivel mount. I can move this out to here, 
like that, and then it sort of looks like I meant to do it, but <laughs> I can't move it any further that way though. That's as far that way as it goes. That's just where the nails already were in the wall. That's why it's not symmetrical. I would have never done that on purpose. But there was already nails in the walls and uh, eh, it is what it is. What? So thanks for watching today. Bit of a shorter vlog today. I'm gonna throw one of these at you every now and then because I know I've been hitting you with like 30 minute vlogs every day. And you guys are super troopers for getting all the way through them to the end. Those of you that do. So uh, let me know what you'd like to see more of in my vlogs. Uh, I'm allowed to show a whole lot more now, as you may have noticed. Uh, what do you want to see? What do you want to see? Uh, let me know down below in the vlogs, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, down in the comments section. That's what I meant. Let me know. You know what I meant. I'll see you down there.